Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use your Android phone as a webcam on your PC. And this is very easy to do. Now you can see the difference in terms of just quality between the two different cameras. So I got this camera right here. And this one's built into my laptop. And then this one is from my phone. So you can see there is a little bit of delay when you're using on Wi-Fi, but you can directly connect it to your computer so everything syncs up so you can get 1080p on here and then 4k if you know how to set it up so what you want to do is go on over to your computer right now and then go to google.com and just type in something called droid cam and go to droidcam.app right here and then you want to get the pc plugin so you can scroll through this different page right here and going down and you can see you can use Wi-Fi or USB to connect. I prefer USB uh, because it will still power the camera and this will drain a lot of battery. So get the Droid Cam app on your phone. Uh, so we can go on over to my Android phone right now and we can go ahead and get that app as well. So here is my Android phone. Uh, let's go on over to the Google Play Store and go ahead and get this. So go to Google Play and there's gonna be a couple of different apps. Um, the uh, paid one is Droid Cam X, and the other one is Droid Cam like OBS. So we can just type it in. So it depends on what you're going to be using it for. Droid Cam OBS is the one I'm using, but Droid Cam X is going to be like five dollars, and it's going to be the advanced version where you can get higher resolution and uh, there's no watermark. But this works pretty well on Droid Cam uh, OBS if I'm using it on my computer, and. Uh, there is going to be a watermark. I believe you can only get to, I think I was able to do 1080p for free. And uh, you can see there's going to be like ads and stuff on this too. But uh, just connect it now uh, using uh, Wi-Fi. And then it should show up on your computer like right away. So just connect. Then we can go on and get the computer application. So we can scroll on down back under here. And you can see I get the Windows version. I already have this downloaded, but you can get the OBS plugin too. It'll give you a little bit more options and it should work in there. And then here's the Droid Cam app right here. <clears throat> you can see it's working pretty good. I got the paid version, so there's like less latency when I have it plugged in with the USB. So the free version only allows you to do Wi-Fi, but the paid version allows you to connect with the USB. And you can see there's like no delay or latency. Well, it, it works good sometimes. And it, it's not bad. So I don't have an option to buy a, a nice camera where I am. So using my phone is decent right now. So I'll have to disconnect my camera from the internet. So I got all these different options on here. Um, I can go through the audio. I can go to the video. You can see I get uh, 1080p on here. It might actually drop this down to 30 frames per second if I keep getting a little bit more issues with the latency or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, set this up a little bit, but you can add it to OBS very easily and just go through here. Yeah, it works. You get Droid Cam, check this out, download it on your computer, uh, download it onto your phone and connect and you should be good to go. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, uh, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below.